Well, welcome along to the Park. It is the big day in the 2017 SWPL one title race. And the big two, the top two, are fighting for the title. Glasgow said they can win for 11 seasons in a row here at Ainsley Park if they get the three points. A draw would help them out big time. And securing the title as well, Hibs know that a win would take them to the top of the table with one game to play. Lorraine Clark is the referee for the occasion and before we run through the team news on Remembrance Sunday, pause for reflection. So, a moment paid for respect on the Remembrance Sunday. To the teams and for Hibs, well, Kevin Mill, former Hoyt Royal Albert, amongst other manager, taking over at the club as head coach from Chris Roberts. A couple of controversial red cards for Joel Murray and Lisa Robertson in the game in the win against the Rangers last week rules them out. Abby Harrison with 23 goals in all competitions, 15 top goal scorer in the league. She will be a threat along with one or two others. Rachel Small has been delivering goals. She's captain today as well. For City, a couple of changes of note to love. Comes into the middle part for Megan Foley, Kira Keenan into the defence in the back four for Sab McCarthy. Abby Grant has been scoring goals for fun now, 20 in all competitions. She will be looking to add to that today. Noel Murray and Hayley Lauder, big game players, scored in the 2 1 win here back in May. Almost set to go. And Glasgow City, the wayside to get us going. Stephen Bark alongside me in commentary. Stephen. What's your thoughts on the big game? I think it's going to be a, a tight game today. Both teams are going to be up for it, uh, you know, with the chance of winning the league title, either today or next weekend, in the case of both of them, I suppose, and the way the, the match can go. If I'm going to be brutally honest, I think it'll end up as a draw. Not too bold from Stephen Barr, Glasgow City looking to get off to the front foot. Glockland with some early defending. Hunter puts a put through it for Turner. Smith in a foot race with Kiva Keenan. I uh, know it's going to wriggle through, but no, it could be towards goal. Could still be alive for Gallagher and well, Kiva Keenan done for pace. Smith put her under all sorts of pressure. Will be a goal kick, but big chance for the break for Hibbs. Indeed, it's a really big chance for Hibbs. I I don't quite know what's happened there when because when she gets the ball, it looks as if she's going to get it in and get it on target, but. Un unlucky for Hibs, that's a really good chance on the break. Doherty, couldn't quite find Grant, Smith was there again. Noel Murray pitches that from Cornet. Noel Murray turns, shoots! And not far away. Really unlucky, great effort from Murray there. Excellent desire to go and win the ball back in such a, an advantageous position. Time for a... Eva Keenan, long ranger. One of two shouts for handball. The bubble up. You're not going to get a shout for handball in a, <laughs> an instance like that. So take two from the throw in. This time to Ross. And looking for Grant. Here's my Marche! And she does it again against Hibbs! Scores big goals and it's usually against Hibs and she's done it again and in the biggest of days, biggest of games, Glasgow City will strike first. It's a huge goal that one, an excellent finish, the uh, keeper in no position to get to it. Beautiful strike, Glasgow City, I think at this stage a deserved lead. He's oh, the free kick spot here. A little bit, a bit gusty. It's a cold day here in Edinburgh. Kate believes it for Ross. In fact, it's going to be a, a different routine. A lot of stretching going on, but okay, got there. Crichton was at the back post. Comes for Lauder and smashes it just over. There's a, a move in the end that almost worked to great fruition. But Cape kept it alive and it was a devilishly good ball in. It's another massive chance for Glasgow City, that one. They've got to make this pressure tell the whilst they're still getting the chances. She's unlucky, she keeps that down, it's 2-0 and to be honest from that point on you don't see anything other than the Glasgow City win. 
But if they don't make this pressure tell, it could come back to bite them later in the game. Pressing going on here, and Hunter, and it's been given away. Lauder, another try, save, but Abby Grant! And she does it again, scoring again, and Glasgow City, not even 24 minutes played, another 2 0 lead there, fast tracking their way to the title. That's poor defending from Hibs, that suicidal defending in that kind of position. The keeper's just got to get rid of that when those three Glasgow City players so close. That was, a, that was always going to happen. And I think it shows you just how much these players want to win this game. That there is three of them getting up there, putting pressure on the Hibs defence. And even when the keepers made a good save, there's someone there to follow it in. Goal 21 in all competitions for the season for Abby Grant. 24 minutes played and, well, it looks like... It could be job done. Big task here. No, it's getting away. And Lauder through. And the title being wrapped up in no time here. 25 minutes, three goals. Is that 11 in a row? Surely it has to be. I think the phrase is game, set, and match, Glasgow City. It's pull defending again. And you're always at your most vulnerable when you've just scored, just conceded. That's. The, the old cliche in football and Glasgow City have proved it. And Hibs, are, they've just imploded at this point in time. Uh, I don't know what's happened. It's, it's so strange when you see such a good team in a position that they're in. It's not something that Hibs will have experienced in a long, long time. You have to question, well, a rock in the defence and Joe Murray and the captain not in the team and Rachel Small having players in the huddle. An extraordinary couple of minutes. Going out in a little flick through here. Harrison is through and goal. Alexander with the save. And McMurtry hammers away. And well, May the 17th. Last time the defence breached in domestic football that remains intact for now. It's a good attempt by Harrison, but I think by her standards she's going to want to hit the back of the net in that circumstance it's a good save by Alexander though and uh, it was in a comfortable range for her right enough half time then it is Hibs nil, Glasgow City 3 <laughs> Harrison just giving that away to Kiva Keenan Lauder, Crichton, Katie McCabe, and first chance of the second half goes to the away side, but taken well by Jenna Fife. It's a good chance for Katie McCabe that, but it's a good save from Jenna Fife. McCabe has scored the decisive goal at the Excelsior Stadium at the end of September. Turn for Grant. Lauder through the legs of McLaughlin, Katie McCabe on the overlap. Over the bar, another chance for Katie McCabe in the second half. Just got into another good position there. More excellent build-up play from Glasgow City. And she's just got to keep her shot down there, test the keeper, make her make the save at the very least. Galga just keeping it in her grasp, the ball. Doherty, Murray. Grant. Abby Grant, wonderful try, and tight angle, Fife had it covered, but good initiative. It's a good effort, it's destined for the top corner, but top goalkeeping from Jenna Fife, made sure she got across. Loving for McCabe, Grant losing it to Small, Katie Turner trying to get away in the pace, Harrison. Down the channel. Comes back with Smith. Smith strides, a good one. Alexander wasn't moving, but maybe she knew it was just going over. Best chance of the game for Hibs, I think. She's a bit unlucky that she's that it's curled up and over. 
If she keeps it down, it tests the keeper. I don't think the trajectory it's on anyway. I don't think she gets it past Lee Alexander. McLaughlin, Harrison, and a snap header on. Just by the post. Person's ball is scooped up by Doherty, Crichton. Back to Doherty to hit and drive. And driven not far away. She was not, it's a good effort across the goalkeeper. I think she caught Fife out a little bit with going across the goalie rather than going near post, but would have been icing on the cake if she'd got it. Finna knock -ins. great support has came along the M8 from Glasgow to Ainsley Park tonight. Testament to him to have not dropped any points down other than Sydney. It's been an improvement in that respect compared to the last campaign. Still a trophy to be won after the League Cup defence. Harrison with one possible final say, which goes to Alexander. That could well be the last play in the game. And the uh, hopes for the home side and the title ambitions for 2017. It is over. And the history makers just keep writing the new chapters. It's 11 in a row. And try stopping them. Hibbs gave it a right good goal once again, and even closer goal. And it went down to this game effectively. And Glasgow City in the three league meetings have edged out the Edinburgh side, and they've done it on Hibbs' own backyard this campaign. History Brooks once more, Stephen Bark. I don't think you can argue that they've been by far the better team today and thoroughly deserved to to get the plaudits that they're going to get over the next few days. They've been much better than Hibs in the first half. They completely blew them out of the water. The couple of defensive mistakes, they took full advantage of them and and Hibs just couldn't get back into the game at all. Second half, the City were barely out of second gear as they as they, do, they, they dominated possession but not really created many chances. There were a couple of good ones that really they should have put the icing on the cake towards the end of the game. But it didn't matter in the end. Champions of Scotland again for the 11th season in a row. It's finished at Ainsley Park, Hibernian nil, Glasgow City three.